threat of disaster is never pleasant. Welcome to the Casual Preppers Podcast. These safety measures are essential. The only place for prepping, survival, and entertainment. This will be your source of survival instructions and information. Every member of the family must be coached in the business of survival. Here are your hosts, Cam and Kobe. Well, today... We're going to party like it's 1999. We are. Are we? I'm going to take you back to 1999. Let's get back in the time machine. talk about fears Mm. during 1999. I had a lot of fears that year. (laughs) Yeah. But... That was the end of your high school days, huh? It it was. It was the year I graduated. Um, But today, we're talking about Y2K, right, Cameron? We thought we'd go back and take a look at, like, one of... one of the it almost crazy seems events. like a mindless banter episode, a little bit. but but there's, there's there's a lot that goes into it as far as prepping for sure. So uh, we said let's do this. Yeah, we're excited. It's going to be super fun. But before we get into that, do you want to know what didn't exist in 1999? One subscription boxes. Nobody even knew what they were. Bitcoin. We just looked it up. Bitcoin didn't come out to 2009. But Battle Box. Mm-hmm. It didn't exist, and I'm sad. The I'm sad for my it, younger self. They were there. Yeah. Most subscription boxes are full of samples and junk that you'll just never use, but not BattleBox. It's the monthly subscription box for men, full of solid gear for adventure seekers, survivalists, outdoor enthusiasts, and casual preppers. Each month, BattleBox sends you the coolest selection of hand-picked outdoor survival and everyday carry gear, all valued at far more than what you'd normally pay. You never know what's in the next box, but here's a sampling of what users received this month. The Hybrid Light Mammoth Multi-Light Charger. Mm, play yeah. it again. Uh, the Hybrid Mammoth Light Multi-Light Charger. <laughs> yeah. It's great. The Lord and Field Tallulah with Scout Carry Sheath. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Sounds cool. All this badassness starts at just 30 bucks a month. They've shipped almost 15 trillion boxes, <laughs> and they won Best Men's Subscription Box of 2017. Our listeners... The stimulus should have been a battle box. <laughs> it should have. <laughs> Everybody gets a... <laughs> Everybody gets a battle box. I'm trying to... I can't do Joe Biden. I can't either. I can't do Joe Biden. Every, Actually, every trillion, you're doing pretty well. Billion, trillion. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, our listeners get a free knife when you sign up at trybattlebox.com slash casual preppers. That is trybattlebox.com slash casual preppers. Get your first battle box plus a free knife at trybattlebox.com slash casual preppers. It's a good deal. I don't know if you can find a better deal. Use anyway. your stimulus money for battle box. That's right. We'll get you do it. several months. Uh-huh. Listener reviews starts now. Brendan De La Rosa. Oh, De La Rosa. Hello, De La Rosa. Uh-huh. Well, dang. Well, dang. Look at me now, a 22-year-old liberal with years of food. Mm. That's kind of contradictory, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Liberals like food. <laughs> yeah. Don't they? <laughs> well, years of food. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. No, um, I'm prepared. Yeah. No, but in all seriousness, I found out about you guys in the beginning of May and have binged every episode. Never in my life have my dirty little ear holes have been so informed. Mm. <laughs> From 100 reasons to have a hook hand all the way to never trust China with anything. Or Russia, for that matter. True, <laughs> true. But in all seriousness, I'm beginning to be prepared to protect myself and those close to me. Thank you both, Cam and Kobe, for staying awesome and prepared. Thank mm. you, Brandon De La Rosa. Yeah, if you guys want to be a part of this portion of the podcast, go to iTunes, go to Facebook, go to the Kindle book on Amazon, leave us a five-star review, make it awesome. It's a mad, mad world. So, more and more I feel like I'm in a movie sometimes. Like Sometimes, yeah. Some crazy... I wish. I know. Um, but this article, I don't credits know... Credits roll now. <laughs> yeah. Everybody dies, credits roll, <laughs> get out of the theater. About time. It's over. It's over. But um, our our good friend Elon Musk, yeah, you know, uh, there's many great things that he's done for us. But one of the bad things that he's done, he keeps effing up the crypto markets. Yeah, he does. He gets tweeting out stuff, and he thinks he's funny, and everybody loses all their money. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and it controls. It does everything. It's it's insane, dude. Um, but I don't know if you saw that. You know the hacker group Anonymous? I did see it. They were pissed. Yeah. They're like, Elon. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quit <No>. it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they actually sent out a video uh, um, kind of saying, hey, you're you're on notice now. Um, uh, we don't want you to do this anymore. And beware because we're watching you. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It is so crazy. So if you think about what's happening right here, the world's richest man, you know, he's tweeting out doing crazy stuff. 
an anonymous hacker group is um, telling him to quit. It's like a movie, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of it like some crazy movie, a plot to some movie. That, and he looks like he's from the he purge. Does. He does. Like uh, <laughs> he any does, images huh? that they show yeah. of him. So I don't know. I just thought that was kind of crazy. The the things that are going on right now. Um, yeah, that's one of them. That yeah, I did read that. I was like, oh man. In the video, I love to listen to Anonymous's videos that they they put out because it has. Actually, that I've voice. never listened to the oh, videos. Yeah. Is it all like you are? Yeah, you it die. is. It, in fact, and it's it's kind of crazy. That is kinda it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, I the only the only news I have, mm -hmm. and it's gonna please souls and it's gonna disappoint <laughs> souls. Oh, great! Trump's back. Oh, his. He's looking forward to re-entry in 2024. Oh, dang. I mean, y'all know he's, he was coming back. Oh, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought I would. That's the only oh, that mad, mad world because, <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. that's all. I was, it's like, yeah. that enough. That is enough for most people to lose their freaking minds. Yeah. It doesn't, in a good way and a bad way. Yeah, it's on people both People are ends. super excited, super <laughs> scared. Yep, so. it's people on both ends of the spectrum yeah. are getting so all you think hot and bothered. The political, <laughs> yeah. The political nightmares that we experienced between yeah. people. Nope. Nope. Um, this just rekindles some yeah. energy. So I'm we looking forward it. to it. We needed it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not saying one way or another. Yeah. I'm just saying he's back. He's back. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Um, so today, I've had this idea for a while, and we've been throwing it around, but we weren't quite sure exactly how to do it. But today, we decided we're going to do it. We're just going to see what happens and talk right? about stuff we're going to talk about stuff and what we're talking about is y2k and this is uh it's either called y2k the millennium bug the year 2000 glitch i mean there are so many different names for it i was it. so oblivious to all this really? like i knew it was there yeah i knew there was a worry but yeah. i didn't really think anybody oh you were really... just a young buck of 17 <laughs> yeah. though right or 18 or what somewhere were you? around there around there yeah. 25 actually <laughs> i didn't graduate until <laughs> yeah it's no but right. you know it's like i knew all the talk yeah. was there i had no idea all the real like yeah all this stuff really went into it i but. i knew what was going on but obviously you were not smarter to this. no i Kobe really wasn't. was paying attention to things i i was just i sort of knew what was going on i remember talking about it on new year's eve with I my was grandpa tail or <laughs> like a cow <laughs> Is that what you were chasing? I just love when they, like, old people say, Ooh, out, chasing, out tail. chasing tail. Probably necking. <laughs> yeah. And that's what they always say. Yeah. What are you doing? Sucking face sucking in the back face, of that car? Parking and necking. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Petting and I necking. I would never sit in a car, parked car with a boy or call a boy. <laughs> you were back to necking the future. and petting. Necking. Petting is the worst. If you ever petting had a, is the worst. If you ever had thing, an adult like, say that, just say you. sex because petting sounds way worse. Are you out petting? <laughs> That's gross. Yeah. Uh, no. no. Get out of here. Who pets? That's disgusting. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it was a it was a crazy year. Um, 1999. It was a year I was graduating from high school. If you yeah. can believe it. I had one more. I was a moon, I was right on the yeah. millennium. You were right there. You were the number one. But it was the Y2K bug, the Millennium bug, and it was a computer issue that had people freaked out. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it led to what we're going to talk about, which a lot of people prepping, which was kind of a good thing, I suppose. I think so, yeah. But, um, yeah, so let's But again, kinda... it's unprepared prepping. Like, <laughs> it's know. hoarding and yeah. buying stuff you don't, like uh, spending outrageous amounts of money on exactly. stuff that's garbage. But let's kind of talk about exactly what was going on. Um, and I think Cam later on is going to talk about maybe we have some of this to look forward to in the future again. Yeah. We don't know. Um, so back then, so uh, computers were a little bit different, right? The hard drive space wasn't quite the same. Um, so I remember I got my first email in probably 2007 or oh, six yeah. or something like that. Yeah. So I still have like a really short email. Oh yeah, for sure. No underscores, no. Yeah. Cam Hardy at hotmail.com or whatever but um yeah i remember that too in middle school my first i had an information processing class is what it was called and it was right when yep, the internet the was I coming had. out that's the and one we had no idea what to do like yeah. we all had all these computers connected to the internet so like it would take me all class but we would download like music videos from mtv that's the only thing we knew <laughs> to do and we'd sit there and watch them but it would take the entire hour to get it downloaded right anyways things were different it was, it was a different time. different times um uh, but I was, like I was telling Kobe, like looking at pictures from 1999, mm -hmm. I'm like, am I looking at Chernobyl pictures? I know, dude. Like Isn't it, it looks weird? like it was so long ago. Yeah, the big old white, ugly computers with the monitors are like, 
yeah. when you turn them on. Yeah, you could just hear them looking yeah. at the pictures. You could hear you could... all the watts <laughs> in the house. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so the hard drive space was super limited, and it was it was precious. Like, because you just didn't have a lot of, and things took up so much space, we didn't know how to do it. So when programmers were making um, these computers and, and these operating systems and all these different things, they were trying to save as much space as possible, right? And so when it comes to um, putting down a year in there, instead of saying 1981, they would just put 81 for 81, right? It was just saving space. It's amazing that like that a would save any space, digit, yeah. but it did. Um, I was reading this. Uh, so Man, I'm almost... <laughs> What? Almost out of space on my hard drive. I'm gonna cut words in half. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like I'm just gonna start abbreviating words to go. Uh, so How weird. do there go? <laughs> Fun. Yeah. Tomorrow camp trip. <laughs> Please. Just Bye. cut all the words yeah. in half. <laughs> Save a ton of space. Storage was expensive, as low as ten dollars per kilobyte to in many cases as much as a hundred per kilobyte. Yeah. That's, and that's crazy. Ridiculous, isn't it? You can buy Five terabytes for less than a hundred. Right get now. kilobytes for free. They're just giving them away on the street <laughs> yeah. these days. Comes in your happy meal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get a thousand kilobytes right what there. I saw the um the when they went to the moon. Mm, yeah. The the storage on the freaking shuttle and everything. Yeah. The, or the landing pod was like what was it like? Less than a calculator or something like that. It was, it was like ridiculous. Like 100 kilobytes or something. Not yeah. even that. I think it was like 50 kilobytes or something. Yeah. So crazy. It's insane, right? So many people, they began to sound the alarm that they're like, uh, there might be some issues coming because of what we've done here. We cut these numbers. There's going to be problems. <laughs> yeah. We need more numbers. We ain't got enough. So when all the dates, when they would tick over from 1999 to 2000, they, they thought, well, the computers aren't going to know if this is 2000 or if this is 1900 again, <laughs> right? Kind of a funny <laughs> thing. <laughs> so weird, huh? So they're like, this could cause some issues. I'm going to go back to when it didn't exist. The computer's <laughs> yeah. like, Wah. Yeah. So um, the problem, so obviously we had this problem, and we couldn't just go rewrite millions of lines of code because you did, that's the only way to fix it. For some things we could, Um but, okay, so these computer systems at this point... Tandy didn't figure it out because they're what? just Tandy computers. Oh, Tandy, yeah. They just died. They're, they're like, gone. Never mind. Never saw those We're going to go back to making leather or something. <laughs> Remember the Tandy leather works? <laughs> yes. I don't know why. I would. Um, so computer systems at this point, they ran so much of our daily lives that they thought, well, this is the Y2K apocalypse. These computers are going to click over. They're going to freak out. You know, the airplanes are going to fall from the sky. Um, nobody's going to be able to buy anything. The banking system is going to go down. The power grid is going to fail. Um, so many devices that contained even just these little tiny computer chips like elevators, uh, temperature control systems, medical equipment, all of that, they thought it's just going to fail. Like everything that we have is going to die. The banking system is going to implode. Um, the GPS systems aren't going to work anymore. Like, like they said, they figured every plane in the sky was just going to go. That's so funny. You know what I mean? So, oh, in MapQuest, probably ain't going to get your. <laughs> you remember MapQuest? Dude? Yeah, <laughs> you used Alta it all Vista's the time. Not going to work. Yeah, Alta Vista, all that kind of stuff. Um, so. Obviously, this freaked people out, and this would freak anybody out if this was a real thing. Um, you know, all this is going to lead to food shortages, riots, chaos. Um, unemployment's going to skyrocket. There's going to be panic, fires, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. <laughs> you know, it's going to be bad. Um, they thought that if this really did go down that the way they thought it might, it's going to be a decade or more to try and get back to civilization. That was some of the things people were saying. Um, so it was a serious deal. Like, people were freaked out. Yeah. And like I yeah. said, I remember parts of this. I just remember it being talked about on the news, but mm -hmm. I didn't really figure, I didn't realize, I mean, I was on dairy farm pulling teeth. You were petting Of course, we don't. <laughs> sucking face. Of course, we don't worry about digital world in, yeah. on the farm, but. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I didn't know all this stuff was happening. Um, yeah, I remember, I was actually at my grandpa's house that night, um, and, yeah, right. Uh, you it really was. This is field town. <laughs> Eating cookies. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> right. Um, no, but I was at my grandpa's, and I remember like having the conversation and a couple of different things that my grandpa said, and it, I was like, whoa. Weird. Kobe, come sit over here on my lap. I got to tell you a story about <laughs> some awesome water. 
<laughs> you know? <laughs> That's exactly uh, how it started. I know. Um, but so, you know, federal officials were so concerned about it, they spent $50 million on a Y2K command center ran by computers. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the whole thing. <laughs> we're going to put some computers in here. <laughs> we got full years in this computer. This yeah. is 1998. Yeah. We didn't cut anything. No, no way. We got 10 computers. I know. That is funny. For $50 million. Let's double our computers that yeah. are going to crash. Exactly. I didn't um, even know there was a Y2K command center. There How was. How bad I know. A is that? I know. It's pretty cool, huh? Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I work at the Y2K <laughs> command center. <laughs> we got things under control. I'm, I'm, we got the internet. I'm a crew chief at the Y2K <laughs> command center. I work the swing shift, but I keep everything going, you know? <laughs> We're going to be all right. Um, and on top of this, there there was a bunch of people in the Christian community were like, hey, you know, it's always happened. Two th- the year 2000. You know, I thought about this when the year 2000 went over because there's so much talk about the millennium. Yeah, it is a second perfect coming. Date, You're just like, like, wow, is this going to happen? Yeah. Like, yeah. is this really going to happen? I better not chase tail tonight just in case. <laughs> you know? We're not petting tonight. I, I ain't sucking no face <laughs> reading scriptures. <laughs> All right. I'm holding water. I, did, I, re- I just remember. Um, I remember watching TV. I don't remember yeah. anything about it. I know. I don't remember much either. It's like we were worried about it. And then when New Year's, like, woohoo! Yeah. New Year's it's Eve. It's all over with. Yeah. So th- there was a bunch of Christian, you know, the evangelicals and the fundamentalists. They're like, the second coming's here. The, the Y2K is the Donate sign. all of your money to us right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus needs it. <laughs> He's on his way back. It's going to be worthless. Yeah. Give it to us. Um, And so they're saying, hey, yo, this, they prophesied this in the Old Testament, the old Y2K bug. It says right yeah. there. Um, and so people were starting to freak out. So it was a big deal. And if you weren't there back then, I'm here to tell you it was a big deal. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you Unlike right now. Unlike me, I was oblivious. Yeah. He was oblivious, but I promise you it was a thing. Yeah, like yeah, news yeah. reports, it was like for the year before, news reports constantly. You can go to YouTube and see all the news reports that were coming out like, hey, everybody's going to die. Watch out. You know what I mean? All the <laughs> stuff they were saying, you know how the news is. But um, Grandpa's talking to kids. Exactly. All yeah. kinds of stuff. So on. anyways, that's kind of the whole shebang in one yeah. little, little sentence. There. So it's always fun to talk about some of the extreme ideas that people had and yeah. their extreme actions. Um, yes. So uh, let's go through a few of them. Let's do it. So like Kobe talked about, People thought that the airplanes would just like fail, the computer systems would fail, and they would just drop like yeah. a rock. Yeah. Like <laughs> they just wouldn't know where to land. Uh-huh. There would be just this total chaos with air traffic control. <laughs> and so nobody wanted to fly, even to a point to where in the UK they were like debating on whether to even have flights through into yeah. the new year. They were like, let's just ground everything. It would make sense to me yeah. if we were so unsure about it. Like, I'm surprised they didn't do that. I am too. But they were saying like the money and obviously there's money's <laughs> the always money. involved. Yeah, the money. But, um, we got this command center and all. United They're going to take care of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't worry about it. We got the command We got center. the new colorful we're Apple computers. We're going to put a command center chief in every yes. state. Um, the U.S. considered banning flights to non-UK, Y2K, to non-UK <laughs> countries. Yeah. There's only one, um, to non-Y2K compliant countries. Because mm. some countries are like, screw it, we don't have computers, we don't care. <laughs> yeah. You can't fly to Africa, people. <laughs> They're don't, not compliant. Well, no. Africa doesn't have any computers. They ain't got so. an airport anyways. <laughs> uh, sorry if you're from Africa. Yeah. I apologize for that comment. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they it were is like, a continent, by the way. I, whatever. <laughs> the state of Africa <laughs> state, did not have the city of Africa. <laughs> give or take, yeah, a couple like of that. places. I don't know. It's a place. I think it's part of Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's funny. They were really worried about the flights to mm. where they were either going to ban flights or not fly to certain places. Anyway, I wouldn't fly somewhere that night. I wouldn't either. <laughs> if I have not, it now. Screw yeah. you! I'm not flying. There's possibly going to be a big failure with computer systems. I'm gonna take a flight. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, I just if I'm in the air when it I happens, need to go to the big. Be oblivious. Air. Who flies through the new year anyway? I don't know. It's weird. Maybe maybe you're trying to hit a new year here and a new that year there. That's true. You know. Yeah, that's true. Um. So and and one thing that was just like this pandemic mm. is the biggest issue was there wasn't a very clear explanation of what <laughs> might actually happen. That's true. Huh? Like it wasn't very clear. This is saying computers are gonna fail. 
And they couldn't explain to all the <laughs> yes. stupid people of like well, what and, exactly was going to happen. And a lot of people didn't know about computers no, that much anyways. It's hard to talk coding on yeah. you know, channel nine news. Exactly. Like, uh, yeah. I just want the weather. Screen gonna turn off, what's happening? <laughs> no more of that <laughs> My remote sound. gonna die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Print shop and broken? What's up? <laughs> So turn your printer off or on. What, what do they want us to do? I got to print out my banners now. <laughs> Remember the banners you can make in print shop? It's so <laughs> stupid. And they're all dot print, yeah. too. I used to think it was a awesome. A big B, and you would rip the sides off from yeah. the paper. I thought it was awesome. It was awesome. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> got to protect that. I'll and, make a banner every and day. And the printer port was like <laughs> yeah. six inches of pins. It or was, like, yeah. Just, yeah. You felt like you were plugging in like the whole power yeah, you system. you had to like hold it real good or just break the wire off. The end was so big, you know. <laughs> had like seven sixteen bolts to like <laughs> keep yeah. it in the back. <laughs> This is huge. I get air tools out to hook it in. <laughs> HDMI, what's that? Look yeah. at this cable. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway. Um, the, there was another fear that VCRs like would go crazy and people <laughs> wouldn't be able to keep their scheduled recordings for their late night show or whatever. <laughs> that, that was a big concern yeah. for people. You're like, how do I program this? Oh, I'm going to have to do a manual here, I'm because have to be I up. don't want it to... <laughs> Did you rewind the tape? Yeah. Um, if I miss Rescue 911, I'm going to be pissed. Because <laughs> they're, they're, back then, I remember some good stuff coming on after midnight. Oh, for sure. Like, yeah. great shows and scary shows. So it's oh, like, yeah. I wanted to record them all. Yeah, for sure. But anyways, people were panicked about yeah. their VCRs failing. And guess what? Their VCR failed anyway, because yes. they suck. They all break anyways. <laughs> um, <clears throat> there was also fears that this was all conspiracy in that these companies were just uploading viruses to the system. For sure. And also controlling, because you think about it, like, what if, you know, a system like Ford had their company that could, you know, that had all this technology to protect against Y2K, and they could uh -huh. eliminate their competition through that. So, you know, obviously, conspiracies arise. That always happens. For sure. And did you know what's even crazier? This same year is the year that The Matrix came out. So was it really? I think it was like, that sort of like, yeah, it was 99. Oh wow, it was. It was a crazy year for movies, and that's the year that I think that's the year Fight Club came out, right? That was a good movie. Yeah, there's uh, ninety nine was a big year. That was but a the, good year. But the Matrix came out that year, so I oh, mean, not man. that it's necessarily the same thing, but it's so sort of trying the to same. interpret the code. Yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> Where should I say Y two K? Keanu Reeves <laughs> needs to save us all. <laughs> Neo. Neo. Um, there is also a huge fear about nuclear war because we're mm. always scared of nuclear war. For sure. But they figured maybe if the computer systems all got wacky, it would just fire off some, <laughs> you know, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Yeah, and yeah. The, uh, the defense systems and the surveillance of these countries, it all just go down. For sure. And there was some of that, like Kobe will Some mention. of the ICBMs went off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, like the satellites and <laughs> yeah, surveillance stuff systems. stuff went down, yeah. But yeah, so people were, they were scared enough to where they were like building bunkers yeah. and, and building... Uh, they were stockpiling stuff just like it was almost Cold War type of stuff that was going to happen. If you haven't listened to the podcast, there's a podcast called Surviving Y2K. Yeah, I had never listened to that it's one. It's super interesting. It goes over a lot of... The the very first guy that he's trying... So the trying, whole podcast is just Y2K stuff? Yeah, it's That's Y2K. Cool. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that happened like right around that. But there was a guy... This is hilarious. Um, that he was, he was a prepper. He was getting ready for Y2K. And his idea to have meat and food for a really long time was to breed hamsters. Oh, no kidding. No joke. Even it's in the very, first, joke? the very first episode. It wow. says he, 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 was, he bought 200 hamsters <laughs> before this all went down. And he was going to breed this hamsters. This was our joke. I know. It just was he a had a hamster deal. farm. Man. For sure. Never knew. So you got to go. It's actually a that was pretty a, good our podcast. original joke. Yeah. And come find out somebody else had already dealt with it's it. It's actually pretty good if you want to go check it out. Yeah. That's funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, so the one thing is, the oh, you already have that down. I'm going to wait on that's that right. one. That little general's daughter. Okay. Thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, that goes somewhere else. Um, the other thing was that uh, the, sorry, I'm scrolling. You're through, fine. Because a lot of these are duplicates. I don't want to read them all the same. Don't worry um, about it. New Year's Eve. Drew near the Federal Reserve ordered the printing of an extra seventy billion in paper money. Whoa! About two hundred fifty-five per person in the U.S. in case there was a run on banks. So even the government that's been working on all this, they still had some yeah. feeling that maybe it could corrupt this whole system. Yeah, and we do that every hour. Seventy billion <laughs> no these kidding. days—that's no biggie. Yeah, 
Chase Manhattan Bank set up 27 command centers Jeez. to monitor its network around the clock. Citigroup opened a central command center in a secret location. What? I'm like, a secret? Where's that? Like, I want to know more about that story. <laughs> I know. Huh? Um, other big conspiracies are that it's one, you know, the one world government or the new world order yes. was doing all this. They were the ones, finally, let's destroy civilization and become one, yeah. uh, one massive controlling. Dude, I mean, it's... Everything goes back. It was just such a big year. I mean, it's a millennium. Yeah, you're going from 1999 to 2000. <laughs> How weird is it? It is a weird. It's deal. just weird to just live through to think that about time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, a California man lost his mind and filed a class action lawsuit against six retailers, including Office Depot, no more, mm. and now defunct Circuit City, CompUSA mm. for failing. Is Office Depot even? Do they do anything anymore? I, I think don't know, man. Dead. I think so too. For failing to warn buyers about electronics that were not Y2K compliant. Sure. Frustration was mounting across the country. For sure. Uh, senior defense official said at one point, if we built houses the way we build software, the first woodpecker to come along would destroy civilization. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I know. I thought that was I like a that. pretty funny quote. Yeah. So anyways, people <clears throat> took it to the level of like, yeah. it's going to just collapse the whole world. It's yeah. going to be that post-apocalyptic there's no um, digital world, yeah. and we're just going way back in the Stone Age, almost, you know? Yeah, and if, I mean, we'll, I'm sure we'll talk about this later, but if you think even about the difference between how much was digital in 1999 and how much is digital today. Yeah, I admit. Uh, okay, good. Because that's, I'm like, whoa. think about then. Yeah. And then what are the threats now and how much we rely on the digital world? It's like, amplified like by 30 at <laughs> least, insane. right? It's so crazy. So if it was scary then yeah. and the susceptibility of our system now, yeah. you should be pooping your pants exactly. right now. So here's the thing. What actually did happen? Yeah. Luckily, not much. Like really, it all went down mostly without a hitch. There was, there was a few things that did go on. They were generally regarded as minor. Some of them maybe were a little more than minor. And we'll some talk of them this. are pretty funny. Yeah, some of them are kind of funny. Um, And <clears throat> the thing is, is I remember, I'm like, midnight's going to tick over, and all of a sudden the news is going to go nuts. All these things are going to happen. Just your TV shuts up. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Microwave stops. Yep. Um, Grandpa dies. I don't know. <laughs> Luckily, he made it. Um, But... His yeah, motorized uh, his <laughs> scooters <all> <laughs> <laughs> he starts spinning. Grandpa, grandpa, grandpa get him out! <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> we gonna make it. Um, so like things didn't happen exactly at midnight, but there were some things that actually did happen as as you know um, processes there were systems began to not happen. fixed. Yes, in Australia. Bus ticket validation machines in two states failed to operate. Son of a bitch. I mean, you couldn't validate your bus ticket. <laughs> you ain't riding tonight. <laughs> good eye, Mike. Get back in line, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's just, you know, it didn't happen. It wasn't good. And then Ishikawa, Japan, radiation monitoring equipment failed at midnight. However, now officials- Now that's a serious yes, deal. Yes. They stated there was no risk to the public. Of course. But that right there is enough to freak me out a little bit. How do right? they know? <laughs> I don't know. That's what they say. And then in... in uh, There's no risk. Don't worry about it. Onagawa. All of our system quit at the nuclear power plant. Onagawa, Japan, an alarm sounded at a nuclear power plant at two minutes after midnight. So that's scary. Whatever whatever was going on, it was scary. Could you imagine just like Y2K, something going to happen? And then the freaking nuclear power plant yeah. the sirens go off? Yeah. And they go, well... You'd be pooping your panties. Yep. In Japan, at two minutes past midnight, the telecommunications carrier or Osaka Media Port found errors in the date management part of the company's network. The problem was fixed by 243. No services were disrupted. No big deal. Another one in Japan, the NTT Mobile Compu Communications Network, their largest cellular operator, reported that some models of mobile telephones were deleting new messages received rather than the older ones as the memory filled up. So that was a kind of a, oh, dang, it, just got that text, and it's gone. In France, the National Weather Forecasting Service, Matteo France, said a Y2K bug made the date on a web page show a map with Saturday's weather forecast as 01011910000. So like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. way I, in, I the, in the future. Saying. Yeah. In Sheffield, United Kingdom. I love it, like, not jumping backwards. It jumped, like, way, way forward. <laughs> yeah. And it's had a zero. I think we just time-traveled, everybody. <laughs> I don't know. In uh, the United Kingdom, incorrect risk assessments for Down syndrome were sent to 154 pregnant women, and two abortions were carried out oh, as a direct result of a Y2K horrible. bug. 
causing miscalculation of the mother's age. Four babies with Down syndrome were also born to mothers who had been told they were in the low-risk group. So that's obviously not great Yeah, <laughs> that happened there. Um, but it is something that and happened. And aborting for Down syndrome alone. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, come on, <laughs> come on, people. You deserved that. No kidding. In the United States, the U.S. Naval Observatory, which runs the master clock that keeps the country's official time, gave the date on its website. That was another one. First of January, 1,000, no, 19,100. <laughs> the Naval Observatory, like, keeps <laughs> yeah. an accurate time. We always get the right time. <laughs> Except for... Except for today. <laughs> we screwed up. Sorry. Uh, the United States is a direct result of the Y2K glitch. At midnight, computers... We just have the United States because of the Y2K glitch. <laughs> yeah. It's a simulation <clears throat> terminal. That's right, yeah. At ground control station, ceased processing information from an unspecified number of spy satellites. Yeah. <clears throat> the military implemented a contingency plan by 3 a.m. and restored all normal functionality in approximately two days. I mean, that's not great. So what to- happened two days... That we couldn't see. That we probably could have caught Osama bin Laden in those two days, <laughs> and then we would have been fine yeah. the next year. In the United States, 150 Delaware Lottery Racino slot machines stopped working. What's Rus- Oh. <laughs> so that's the thing, apparently. Um, <laughs> this, uh, this, Dang it. This one's kind of funny. The Y2K computer bug turns teen criminals into senior citizens. Reports of sexual assault on an 83-year-old woman by an 80-year-old <laughs> man and two missing youths of That's a- pretty standard now. <laughs> I know. Of ages 83 and 84 were among the flawed reports given by the faulty system, which caused the system to read 2,000 as 1900 and interpret their year of birth of the parties involved in there. So obviously it screwed up everything there. That wasn't great. This one might be my favorite. This one is the best one. A customer at a New York State video rental store had a bill for $91,000, $91,250, the cost of renting the movie The General's Daughter for 100 years. <laughs> I love how this is specific about which movie. I know. It was The General's Daughter. Oh, man. It was, it was that the... Uh, uh, what's his name? John Travolta. John Travolta, that's right, yeah. yeah. So their system said that he had this. You had this checked out for 100 years. <laughs> that's late. We just kept a tally on it. <laughs> just kept ticking on up, boy. You think you'd be forgotten? You think you keep it? I no. remember I remember like losing a movie back in the day, and they're like, all right, you just have to pay for it. I'm like, all right, we figure it's like $97. I know. What? <laughs> Ninety-seven dollars. I ain't renting from here anymore. See ya. <laughs> Screw you. I'm going to Blockbuster. <laughs> um, I couldn't go to Blockbuster. We. I remember like, place. like years down the road when you go camping. You know, like the little, like uh, camping post would have like yeah. tapes to rent. Oh yeah, yeah. Well past the uh-huh. time that VCRs ex- yeah. like they were gone, but they yeah. were still renting out VHS tapes. Yeah, that is pretty funny, huh? Well, then you'd find that video like five years later, like oh. <laughs> Still got it. Jackson Hall. Just, oh, <laughs> piss. Ah, uh, well, too bad. Nobody saw it out. Or yeah. it's in a sleeve of a different movie. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that happens. Pull it out times. and you're like, showgirls. What? <laughs> What's that doing in National Geographic? <laughs> it said the jewel of the Nile. That's showgirls. <laughs> 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 I think my mom watched that one yeah. for like a month straight, just kept pulling it on. <laughs> in the afternoon, just kept playing it. <laughs> That's awesome. She would always just put a movie on, yeah. turn music on, and it was like Chipmunk's Christmas, <laughs> middle summer, just like cleaning the house. Yeah. I'll just listen to something. Do what you got to do to get stuff done. <laughs> the Hardy <laughs> household. Uh, in Germany, the Y2K <laughs> bug. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Um, I listened to it year long. In Germany, the Y2K bug was the prime suspect in the case of a man who suddenly found himself quite a bit wealthier in January oh, of 2000. So Apparently, his bank account had randomly been credited about $6 million. <laughs> this is like office space. <laughs> with a date on the transaction reading December 30th, 1899. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how are you going to dispute that? I know. That's uh, been my bank account for over 100 years. <laughs> hand down, hand My grandpappy down. got that money. <laughs> what are you going to say? He started busting out emails. It's like, you were <laughs> part of the, yeah. you know, those emails that come from Africa. Yeah. You did not know that you were part of the an heir of the millionaire. <laughs> yeah. In Hong Kong, police breathalyzer equipment stopped working, admittedly on the worst night of the I year. But that, that's funny. pretty funny. Well, you're all fine. Uh, yeah. Oh, I guess just go home. <laughs> just drive home. I don't know. You smell like vodka, <laughs> but my breathalyzer ain't working. We're gonna pat. Go ahead, get out of here. <laughs> just get out of here. 
I don't know why he's got that accent. Get out of here. <laughs> he's got like a mobster. I don't know why I'm walking in China anyway. He's got a mobster accent. <laughs> he's in Hong Kong. Get out of oh. here. Hey, yous. But you know, besides Y2K, yeah. this pandemic in our time has brought many challenges to us. For sure. And we rely heavily on tech. Mm. All day, every day. Tons of people working from home. You're using it right now. Yeah, I am. And I just was reading about the like companies predict from this pandemic, like the digital world of like business mm. is gonna just like shoot through the roof. Everybody's gonna be working from home. Yeah. So we go online a ton, we shop online all the time. Mm. All of our stuff is susceptible to thieves mm. and buttholes. Okay. You buttholes. don't want that. So buttholes you can protect yourself. If you go and sign up for Surfshark, 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 they are a virtual private network and protect you and all your devices from online threats. Beautiful. All of your devices. That's what I love about them. Mm. You subscribe and you can use it on any device that connects to the intranets. PlayStation 1, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Play your Twisted Metal online. Yeah. <laughs> yep. The Dreamcast. Yeah, Dreamcast. Anything like that. Yeah. Um, you basically just go gray man online. Yeah. You can go shop, do whatever, go wherever, go to the black web, dark web, anything. Red black web. web. <laughs> <laughs> I made that one up because it's That's scary. That's a new one. Yeah. But you can go because it basically puts your IP in another country, wherever you want to connect. Don't touch my IP. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> go get Surfshark because it will protect you online. The only, the other thing I haven't mentioned in a while is it's pretty cool. You can basically put yourself... As if you were in UK and watch their Netflix series, like you can. They all got the accents, right? Yeah. So um, it's pretty cool. You can use it for entertainment. Yeah. Go to cat or cash prep. Go to Surfshark deal slash Casual Preppers. Mm. Try it for thirty days. If you don't like it, cancel it. That's like a month. Yeah, thirty days <laughs> money back guarantee. Yeah. The cost is seriously the best part. It's sixty bucks for twenty seven months. That's unheard Less of. Less than sixty bucks. That's um, unheard of. Don't be dumb. Okay. Go get it yeah. because Y2K38, which I'll talk about, <gasps> is coming. Oh my gosh. Doesn't have anything to do with Surfshark. Might. But it could. Yeah. So awesome. Go get it. Go get it. Yeah. So let's talk about is there something in store for us in the future that could be similar yeah. to what we experienced back in 1999 slash 2000? Sounded like a robot. <laughs> um, first, I wanted to read a Reddit post about right. Y2K. Why will we be worse off? In okay. in the future, if something like this were to happen. Okay. So he said, it wasn't a disaster because geeks fixed it. Okay. <laughs> Y2K is too often used as an, as an example of why people shouldn't prep because it was overblown and no planes actually fell out of the sky. Well, that's because folks knew about the problem and did something about it. Don't let the myth get passed around that Y2K was all hype and just nothing. Mm. So um, what we learned from this is that it can happen and you should still prep and there is actually one scheduled for 2038. Oh, we got another one scheduled. This one's huh? super weird. Um, so it actually was kind of discovered from the popular video uh, Gangnam Style. <laughs> what? That sounds weird, huh? That does sound really but weird. But the reason why is because they found out his video was like so popular, it was hitting a number of views that maxed out YouTube. What? So the total number of plays... Um, that they, the max that YouTube would support was, oh, where is it? I got it. Um, sorry about that. Sorry. Mm, can't find it. It was like 2 million, or no, it's more than that. It was like 2 billion, it's got 4 something billion like that. billion right now. Yeah. Oh, uh, the maximum number of a 32 bit system can represent uh, 4, uh, trillion, 294 billion and a few others. So it would max out, and they found out with YouTube is how okay, thirty-two bit means there's a limit, and yeah. which is which is super weird because um, that limit in thirty-two bit systems, the date will do the same thing like Y two K. Basically, January nineteenth, twenty thirty-eight, hmm. is the max that it's been programmed to calculate. So it basically will max out and just crash computers. Wow! So there okay. could be a new threat of Y two K. If you're on a 32-bit system, which most things have started to go away from. Yeah, see, most, and it's all 64-bit mostly right. now, right? So, Africa, thank goodness that now got their computers are 32-bit. The town of Africa? Is that what you're <laughs> yeah. talking about? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, long story short, basically, 
32-bit systems will max out in 2038, and there will be like a system crash because mm. it can't calculate beyond so that. So that's going to be like most government computers probably by that point. <laughs> the church, right? for sure. Our church, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So anything yeah. on 32-bit technically... I mean, if we're still on 32-bit in 2038... We got problems. We got We've already hit problems. an apocalypse of some <laughs> sort, if yeah. that's what we're using. But I thought it was super weird that that YouTube, when they discovered like this, that so many views yeah. stopped ticking, stopped counting, that they're like, wait a minute, well, wait a minute. Wait and a they minute. calculated that the date would basically max a computer out on wow. January 19, 2038. So, we could be in store yeah. for Y2K... Interesting. 38 is what they call it. I can. 2K38. I'll look forward to that. So um, even if it isn't going to be from a glitch like this, there's way more risks to our like digital mm. world, you know? Yes. Number one, cyber attacks, obviously. Yeah. We, get, we see them all the time in the news. And just recently they had that ransom for the freaking fuel yeah. lines. They shut them all down. Well, and then there's also been the attacks on the meat processing plants in the United States recently, which is oh, weird. Really? Yeah. It's so like, there's been about a bunch. Yeah. So yeah, it's I'm like big in the meat industry, <laughs> just checking out what's going on. Check them there. on meat stocks. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm put a lot in the Wagyu right now, you know? So, um, yeah, it may not be this massive computer glitch specifically from coding errors yeah. like this, but our, our system is, pretty susceptible fragile to, yeah and and like we were saying before like consider 1999 and how much you relied on digital like yeah. world i didn't have a cell phone till like 20 2004 is when i got one <laughs> so that'll tell you something yeah so um we like rely on it heavily with everything like business is done through it all of our medical records are all digital everything all your banking your shopping's all digital and that whole system is all susceptible cyber attacks constantly are yeah. barraging that whole system so um it definitely can happen again um and we most likely won't be warned. <laughs> yeah, that's the, well, I'm warning you now. Yeah, yeah, okay. we're warning you now. We're warning so you right now. Try to get your world that doesn't rely so heavily on yes. it for your, you know, your your plan. Um, massive power outages alone mm -hmm. just we're going to talk knock about out that. the grid from either, you know, the sun just spurging, spugin. And it's been doing some weird stuff yeah. lately. Did you see some of the photos they've been getting? Yeah, like there's all kinds of weird stuff yeah. like the dormancy and like anyway. You get a little coronal mass ejection, yeah. and it fries all of your devices. It's no different than a Y2K great. scenario. No. Um, EMP, you know, mm -hmm. North Korea miscalculates. You know, the 32-bit system fails. Holy cow. Shoots that yeah. nuclear over top of us and fries all of our stuff. Yep. And then what goes along with that? You know, bank systems. We don't have any currency. We can't get anything. Like, watch American Blackout. That mm -hmm. That's as, probably as close as to, like, this kind of scenario as anything for sure yeah but anyway any, it just be total chaos and i think that our system is great it's makes life so much easier the digital world we have but mm -hmm. man if we get pulled out of that i mean yes. take a cell phone away from a teenager right now and watch yeah what the world watch their, them slowly die because <laughs> that's what's going to happen it's like they're freaking <laughs> yeah. life support exactly so how do you how do you even prepare for something like this and there's a lot of different things that cam talked about power outages and um what else say cyber attacks and, and things like that so surf shark surf sharks and all surf those shark. different things but the biggest thing when, when it comes down to it, is is losing power. That's going to be the the worst part about all of it, right? The grid down, the, the grid failures and those types of things. And we've talked about this several times, but here's just like a couple of things to think about, some things you can prepare because, you know, in Y2K, that was the thing we were worried about. It's like, well, the power's going to go that's out. That's what I would be worried about. And here we about. are. What are we going to do? So that's one of the biggest things. Um, it's like... All the all the ha people that hack into the nu like the nuclear power plant yeah. systems, they yeah. watched them like control the mouse and everything. Exactly. So yeah, those are all digital. Yeah. So w when the power goes out, you know, supply chains are going to be affected. There's so many different things, especially if it lasts for more than a few days, right? Oh. So there's a few things to think about once that power goes out. So. You know, I'm always thinking about it. as soon as the power goes out. Flashlight. Like, is this it? That's all you need. Like, is this is this like an hour or is this <laughs> I was just like thinking about that the other day? Do you know what I mean? When my text wouldn't go through, I'm yeah. like. Is this wonder it? if an EMP just went off. Exactly. Yeah, and you it think about protected that, right? my phone, but my the cell exactly. was all down. So yeah, I no. have those thoughts, but it's probably not a bad idea to have those thoughts when I those things so. go down because the, the, those first few like hours and minutes in those situations are going to be pretty crucial, right? Because mm -hmm. the first thing I think about is like, okay, where's my family? 
you know, when the power goes out, even if the power goes out here at work, like I will text my wife like immediately, Hey, is the power out there? Everything okay? What's going on? Where are the kids? You know what I mean? At least kind of get like a first uh, thought to get my COVID vaccine. Do oh, I have yeah. my mask? I got to, I got to post it on Facebook <laughs> yeah. real quick. <laughs> I'll let everybody know I got it. No, but I, I want to know like, okay, where's my family? Okay. If, if, you know, shit is going down, at least I know where they're at right <clears throat> now. You know, and, most important part. And, and I've and I've kind of got that figured out. So think about that and think about those lines of communications, how you're going to get in touch with them. And again, it goes back to emergency plans. You know how I love to talk about those. But uh, you've got to have those those um, issues worked out before it all goes down. Yeah. Um, Your stress is like. Yeah, exactly. OK, know where they're still at. stressful. Worst comes to worst. I can walk home. Everything's going right, to be OK. Everybody has a plan. My kids yes. have a plan. Yeah, and in these in in, in those instances, knowledge is going to be huge. Information is going to be really big. So you have to know how am I going to get the information to know is this long term, is this short term? YouTube, yeah, <laughs> Gangnam style. <laughs> um, so you're going to be thinking about you know your cell phone, your ham radio, two ways, CB, mesh network stuff, emergency apps on your phone. I think those are huge, like the FEMA app and the Red Cross app. I, I agree. Just, I think. It makes no sense not to have those yeah. because you get that information. I get stuff all the time. Everybody about fires, freaks and- about FEMA and yes, all that stuff. Like these Use have it. such useful. St- like- Use it, yeah. Um, okay, and at that point, um, you, you know, you don't know if it's long term, short term. Go hit that grocery store. Get up that. Go go get that toilet paper. Go get a, whatever you need. There's to- nothing wrong with topping off. No, your supplies. No, there's really nothing. I wrong do with have it. a problem with you just buying everything else. Yes, like yeah. let me just clean the whole aisle off. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's not great. But top but your stuff off. Top your stuff off. Go and do it. Um, make sure that at your home you have backup lighting sources because if this thing lasts for very long, you're gonna want lights. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I have suggested it once. So I'm gonna suggest it again. The Solar Home 620 from BioLite is my preferred way to to light my house i've had mine up for two winters now mm-hmm. like in my two, solar two winters now we've had bio light <laughs> <laughs> just i was the way you said that yeah two winters it's been two winters <laughs> and my bio light still works i um, gotta do like a commercial but like you know like i've had like snow rain wind everything on mm. that solar panel yeah and I walk into my shed and the lights always work. Right? Like, it's, it's awesome. It's an awesome system. And it's they're easy to throw up. Awesome <laughs> <laughs> Two winners. Awesome <laughs> system. Um, and, and that's another thing. We're talking about the winter. If that power goes out, how are you going to keep warm? You know what I mean? Two winter. It's been a long two winters. Two winters. <laughs> One apocalypse. <laughs> um, and, yeah, and great idea. I was talking about being at my grandpa's house on New Year's Eve that that year. Um, but two winters, uh, two winters, awesome. twenty five winters ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he had a wood burning stove, and and I remember having the conversation like, if the power goes out, he's like, we're gonna be fine. Happy, what's this? <laughs> Happy, what's gonna happen? <laughs> the computer's gonna kill us all. Why did not I have a digital fireplace? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I sounded like. <laughs> um, no, but he's like, look, we've What's got. <laughs> oh, Pappy, I'm cold. <laughs> Throw another <laughs> piece of wood on a fire. We got wood the last two winters, boy. Bigfoot sounds. Like. <laughs> no, but he's like, look, we've got the wood burning stove. We've got wood for you know a long time. We're gonna be all right, you know. But you have to think about that. How are you gonna? <laughs> how are you gonna keep us warm, Pappy? <laughs> what's all the wood piled for, Pappy? What's necking? <laughs> <laughs> Is pecking and petting and necking okay? <laughs> Do you pet and peck at the same time, Pappy? Mm. Questions a lot, son. <laughs> Shut up, son. I'm watching this. Throw another wood on a fire. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> yeah, so make sure you can keep the, something warm, um, like a room warm or something at your home, because if that power goes out, boy. Boy, I'm, boy, so, boy. I'm telling you, it's going to happen either... <laughs> On a July day that's 116, yeah. or it's going to happen in the middle of winter when yep. it's the coldest day. It just be no going to happen. The, the crazy thing is we don't even have in-between days here. No. It's, it's all it's 116, or it's a negative yeah, 116. Just, like, spring is a day. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it's like just the morning of a day. <laughs> so <laughs> the true. second half of the day is summer. We don't even true. get a full, yeah. Um, then you got to think about the food in your freezer and your fridge. You got to deal with those real quick. What are you going to do? You want to eat it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Stop <laughs> yelling at me. <laughs> Figure it out, all right? Um, I wasn't expecting questions. Um, <laughs> Yes. 
<laughs> I did not prepare for this. I did not prepare for this. <laughs> um, so you know this this inform uh, this situation. If, <laughs> if it looks bad, um, people are gonna start to freak out. And we know that. Um, th- this is when the riots, the lawlessness, the crime, <laughs> all that stuff just starts to go up quick. And I wonder, I wonder if any of that happened at Y two K. I haven't read anything about like looting or anything. Have you? No, I didn't either. During that time, yeah. Interesting. People though. were behaved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was no TikTok. People had their minds about them. The wits were there. That's true. Yeah. Um. But you you know if things look really bad and and you can tell that this is going to be long term, that's stuff's going to happen. You know, so you got to be you got to be careful there. Um, water may stop flowing really quickly, so you got to have those water preps. Cam's going to talk about this. The food and water, it's so important. Yeah, right. I'm not going to talk about it much because Cam's going to talk about it more. <laughs> okay. that's, pretty, that's pretty much all I was going to say. So. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll say it again. Yeah, you you reiterate that point later on. Um, Fuel is going to become scarce. That's such a hard one for me. Fuels, I, I, um, I freak out about that too. I'm yeah, like, I fuel. Can't, Pappy, how do we get fuel? How do you get enough gasoline, Pappy? <laughs> What's ethanol? People freak out oh, with I gas. They like, do. I can't. I got to drive somewhere all the time. I got to have, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The people love like their fuel. Anybody... <laughs> <laughs> they like it a lot. I'll tell you what, that's some awesome, awesome fuel. Awesome unleaded. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So you got to make sure you got to figure out what you're going to do there. All right. Um. Work having, but I'm telling you, if you say we're, the grocery stores are running out of food or the gas station's going to run out of gas, mm. people freak out people about the get gas a station. People light, light, a freaking fire lit <laughs> on their <laughs> they ass, and it gets bad. Well, I need fuel to get the food, so I got to get that first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It's a bad deal. So you got to be careful with this. All right. Um, backup battery packs, solar chargers, things mm-hmm, like that mm-hmm. are humongous in this situation. <laughs> <Humongous. Honestly>. Yeah, <laughs> it's humongous. Yeah, you I did say humongous. <laughs> <laughs> Just a word I like. A uh, humongous. Yeah. Um <laughs> meds, medicines, um, those types of things. If you gotta take them every it's day. It's getting less serious. <laughs> but it is serious. Meds. Yeah. Um, again, we've talked about those supply chains getting cut in a situation like this. And also, um, you know, computer systems are down. Nobody knows how to make meds without computers. <laughs> Nobody knows how to give them to you without computer. It's not on a computer. It's, I can't give it to you. It's true. <laughs> you know what I mean? What are you going to do? Dosages and stuff like oh, yeah. the old-fashioned way of calculating how much your kid gets. Computer yeah. does it for you. Yeah, exactly. Well, we still put it in So So um, just be careful. Be aware. Figure out what your backup plan is. Maybe have some alternative methods to treat whatever condition you have. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And sometimes that's not – there's <laughs> nothing great to, you know. <laughs> Blood pressure too high. I'm on bloodlet. <laughs> Get some of that blood. I heard off. they used to do that. <laughs> Just drop Deep. the pressure in my blood system. But I mean, even like maybe it is high blood pressure, but know the natural ways to help alleviate that. Yeah. You know, maybe that's some exercise, not too much, but some, right? And then <laughs> some breathing and meditation and yoga or whatever that might be. But at least have. If you're not married, don't have kids. Yeah. Blood pressure solved. Get divorced. <laughs> get rid of your kids. <laughs> your blood pressure going to come down. Never mind. Just kidding. Love you. Love you, family. <laughs> Love you. Thanks for listening. All Thanks. <laughs> I don't let my kids listen. Um, do you live near a nuclear power plant? No, you don't. See, you had that one ready. Yeah. You're ready with that one. But what are the plans if it goes offline? And yeah, run because that's what probably I do. I don't know. Put they your ha- card on. Put yeah. your card in your back pocket. Yeah, your uh, mm. Geiger counter, the dosimeter card, or whatever the heck it yeah. is. But y- they usually have backup power, but I don't think it lasts very long. Yeah, you know. And I just asked Fukushima. That, <laughs> that went down, didn't go well, right? Things went bad. So just th- those are some things to think about with with the power outage in this type of situation. The other thing is we're talking about a digital type apocalypse, right? Maybe this Y two K bug starts taking out digital files and eating them. You know, <laughs> they're just gone, just cutting war- numbers yeah. in half. Yeah. <laughs> now it used to be one zero. Now it's just one or zero. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Um. So having a hard copy. In a fire safe of really important documents is super. It's a I, good that, idea. That, yeah, I always try and keep that updated, but mm, man, I don't do a great job. Seems at Seems like the cards keep coming in, you know. Yeah, sure. I know it's wow, hard. This one's already expired. Okay, but I mean, even you know things like uh, birth certificates, passports, um, deeds, wills, uh, driver's points. license, dick points, all those things you got to have them. So get that 
that hard copy back up yeah. because I actually just did that two weeks ago. Did you copy it on my cards? Thanks for reminding me to do it. Yeah, yeah. I posted I it online. We were a team. Post online. <laughs> did you? I don't remember that. No, I didn't post it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> post all my cards online. <laughs> oh, you did. No, I did a picture of all my cards front and back. Oh, nice. And then like all like our identification, who I am. I want people to know. Who I, I am Cam. <laughs> I am here. I made some like I am a prepper. got like you know like a vest, mm. legit like yeah. Name tags Beautiful. for all my family. Um, also have that uh, digital backup on a flash drive, you know, that's somewhere else, not connected yeah. to the internet. Um, and then maybe even have one in the cloud that might, you know, maybe this not, might not be useful in a situation like this, but it's another backup that's somewhere safe, yeah. you know, that's off-site. Did you say cloud? I said a cloud. No preppers use cloud. Nimbus cloud. <laughs> um, like Cam said, pictures of credit cards, statements, and things like that. Family photo backups. Boy, if you lose those. I've been probably yeah. more paranoid about that than anything. For sure. That's I've a big backed deal. it up a few times. Medical records. I don't know where you get those, but you probably, if you got them, get them. Yeah, I don't you know what about I mean? it. Um, we'll make up some diagnosis for you. <laughs> yeah, thanks, buddy. You look um, like a hypertension I don't go and with that. a diabetic. Yeah. No. Um, crypto wallet backups. These days... Boy, I guarantee you, sure, insurances will have all of your diagnoses. Yep. Oh, they will, no yeah. matter what. <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah. Back in 1999, you had schizophrenia. <laughs> <laughs> that hangnail get better mm. back in '81. I ain't gonna insure you, boy. That tip um, wound. But um, crypto wallet backups. Yeah. Um, these days, a lot of people have crypto, so think about that. Cold storage is obviously the safest with crypto, but think about it. And then digital security. We talked about this earlier with Surfshark. You know, you don't know what's get my coins cashed out. <laughs> yeah. I just, just want like, to carry around a whole Bitcoin. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, this could be a new cyber war. I mean, there could be just like cyber attack after cyber attack happening. So you need to be aware of your online security yeah. in parts of this. Like VPN, like Surfshark, strong passwords, multi-factor identification, RFID blocking wallets, those things like that, Faraday bags, Faraday cages for your crucial gear. Those are just uh, some other things that are sort of similar that you need to be thinking about. And we did we did an episode a while back on what what was it like cyber yeah sort of security cyber warfare for preppers or something. something. Like I don't remember what it was, but that would be a good one to go back and listen to for that type. of I stuff. I think that one nowadays is super important. Yeah, well, absolutely. All, all the stuff we say is yeah. super important. But. So so to me, the whole the big lesson about doing this Y two K thing is that the system that we live in is very very fragile and. A computer glitch of two numbers could send us into a, a tailspin as a society, and yeah. everything could just go off of a cliff. So w- what we're trying to say is be smart, prepare for it, but don't be so scared of it that you don't use the technology. If you're not using it, you're a stupid idiot. Yeah, you're wasting hours You've got to be using it. Hours yeah, use the technology, but just understand its limitations, its risks, and its vulnerabilities, and just be ready for it. That's yeah. all you can do. Yeah. You know? No, and I think, I think not overlooking that backup system for yeah. like your digital because you if you're not living in the digital world like i'm sorry you know you got a you're miserable not, yeah. life you're a weirdo you've got uh, there's just so much good that comes from it yeah even as a prepper there's so much ah, good I that totally comes agree. from it that you're, you're an idiot not to use it yeah. in some way shape or form in my opinion no i agree yeah. and don't focus so much on it that you overlook the the main yes life sustaining items like water water is water Awesome. And food. Mm-hmm. Um, those things can't be overlooked, obviously. Um, you need them. And if you plan on stocking up on those items as soon as, you know, some yeah. SHTF is heard of, uh, good luck. That's the worst time to be trying. It is. But we always do say, like, yeah, go go um, top off your, your stuff. That's great. But, again, that's just, like, cream Have on your, the top. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You'd be dumb not to do that, too. Yeah. But, like... That's what, that's the big problem. And even that's like when I was looking into the Y2K stuff, one mm-hmm. of the biggest issues was that people overstocked and they paid way too much yeah. for scams. You know, basically we have a Y2K package, yep. have all exactly. this stuff in there and it was a rip off and it ended up not being used and they didn't prepare or had a system to where they can like rotate it into their normal. Yeah. People you know, are going to try and take advantage of you. And it's just like with the pandemic. I always. Mean, do you see what happened with N95 masks? The second something happened. Oh boom, yeah. They just like quadrupled in price overnight. Yeah. Right. And so if you weren't ready for that, mm-hmm. boy, you're getting taken advantage of. I remember reading of. about that douchebag that bought like all the hand yeah. sanitizers and was trying to sell them and all. And he got screwed. Yeah. I love to that. I know. That me was too. awesome. It's the best story ever. Yeah. Disney should make a special on that one. Yeah. Saturday night family movie. <laughs> <laughs> what was the thing that wasn't it like 
or Sunday night. Was it Sunday night uh, Disney movie? Don't you remember that? There was something like that, yeah. yeah. I can't remember which day it was. Sunday. Wednesday's Child. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Saturday's Warrior. <laughs> oh, man. Is that what it was? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, water yeah. and food, do not overlook those things. Yeah. Don't plan on stocking up on the on them the last minute. Like, you want to just be able to top off. Mm-hmm. And if you don't have the ability to top it off, you don't care. You're okay. you're like, I'm okay. Yeah. So don't overlook those things. Um, even trying to check out at the grocery store is going to be a huge nightmare. It's not going to be fun. Like, you can be scanning your phone like you do already, maybe another hundred times before yeah. it, NPC or whatever. Not NPC, what is that? What? The little local thing that scans your phone. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Um, uh, Y2K ruined everything. <laughs> um, consider yeah. alternate currency like a way to pay for goods. Uh, your skills can be used for that. Mm-hmm. Your coffee, alcohol, you know, use people's vices in your favor. For sure. Um, Buy bullets for a gun you don't have. It's not a bad idea. I've thought about that. Getting a few boxes of just random, you know, Mm. 410 shells. They're expensive right now. Are they? 410's outrageous. (laughs) That sucks. Um, Everything's outrageous right now. That's true. That's true. Um, And like Kobe was mentioning, power is my biggest thing that I'm like, I can live without a lot of things, but power is rough. Like, to not have lights, to not have a microwave. I know. <laughs> you know, just simple things. Yeah. And entertainment, like, just to occupy kids and to, like, take the stress down. Yeah. It's all gone. So, if you don't have a system set up, you don't have a generator, you don't have a solar plan, like, do it. Yeah, for it sure. It will be way better, no matter what kind of scenario it is. If the computers were all screwed, if it's an EMP, mm-hmm. you still have some system. Um, so, yeah, uh, avoid... What did they put here? Planes could fall out of the sky. Avoid sitting next to that overweight woman and <laughs> pick your seat wisely. Exactly. The plus three minus eight don't work around here, boy. <laughs> around here, boy. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. um, don't forget your standards, your basic preps. Like yeah. Those are number one. But don't forget, like, we live in a digital world. And that system is always going to be, like, probably the biggest priority for them to get yeah. back up and running. Because that's what runs our freaking exactly. world. Yeah. So, backing so, that up too. Back it all up. Back it up. Well, that's it, guys. That's Y two K. Um, it, I hope you learned something from this, and I think it was just interesting to look back yeah. on what happened back then, and hey, could that happen in the future? And what what could we learn from it, and how could we be prepared yeah. for it? That's kind of what learn we were thinking. Learn from it. Learn from it, please. Just learn yeah. from it. But today's podcast was brought to you by Tac Pack, the only monthly tactical subscription box with useful professional grade stuff inside. Use our code Casual Preppers and get a free separate bag sent of EDC gear along with your first month's Tac Pack. Head to TacPack.com and use that code, Cameron. Yeah. Okay. You got to use the code. If you don't use the code, you ain't getting the good stuff. It's time for the quick and dirty medical. You're not. Nah, you're not. Nah. Mm-hmm. No, I've said it wrong the whole time. Have you? The you are not, the, but you are prepared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I should have been uh-huh. saying. Um, quick and dirty. All right. So facial lacerations are always tricky. You know, you don't want a scar. Yeah. Can I use glue? Can I staple their face together? Elmer's glue. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a tricky. Like, it's always hard to determine whether or not I should stitch something on the face mm-hmm. or if glue is going to work. So it's more or less like. When can you use adhesive for okay. wound repair? Yeah, sure. So here's, I know I've talked about it before, but a lot of people have adhesive, you know, a super yeah. glue that can be used. This is when you can and can't use it. Um, here's some of the advantages to using glue over sutures. Uh, the maximum bonding strength at two and one and a half minutes, like you can get something closed immediately. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's equivalent in strength to healed tissue at seven days post repair can be applied uh, using only topical anesthetic. You don't need to numb. That's the, the nice thing. You don't thing. need to use yeah. needles. Mm-hmm. Uh, faster repair time. Better acceptance by patients. Obviously, people want um, to be glued <laughs> rather than suture. Yeah, please don't suture me if I don't have to be. Right. Water-resistant covering. So that's another benefit. It's almost like a bandage. Yeah. You know. um, you're swole up real nice. Yeah, it, was, it looked awesome. Yeah. And it doesn't require the removal. So once you get them done, you just wait for it to kind of fall off and mm-hmm. voila. That's that's good stuff. So there are contraindications. Um, there are times when you can't use adhesives uh, no matter where it's at. Number, uh, here's a few of them. 
jagged or stellate lacerations, you know, like half moon shaped or like uh, triangular. They just, you can't, if you can't bring the edges together smoothly, don't yeah. bother with a glue. If that's all you have, use it. But um, bites, puncture wounds or crush wounds, don't glue those shut. Jeez. Like if you get bit in the face. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to close it because it get infected. Um, contaminated wounds, obviously. If it's not clean, don't close it up. You want the body to. That's what she's saying. <laughs> Mucosal surfaces, so like your lips, anywhere that like secretes that's moist. Yeah. Like you don't want to put glue in there. One, it's not going to stay. Two, it's not going to stay. <laughs> okay. Three, it won't stay. If it's in your armpit or in your perineum or. Oh. Gosh, who, taint area who or gets a cut in the there? genital. <laughs> like what happened? Now, big poop, maybe tear I, your butthole. Good gracious, take or a picture. Somebody, yeah. <laughs> um, those high moisture areas, obviously, the glue is not going to stick. They just don't heal well with glue. You need to suture them. Um, cool. Hands, if it's on the back of the hand, you could probably get away with it. But um, fingers and joints. Hey, you super glue my finger. But like, if it's on the surface, like the palm, palmer side, mm. that it's just not going to do very well because of sweat and all that. I get you. You should consider uh, a stitch. Um, one thing with fingers and stuff, you get a laceration. If and if you decide to glue it, splint it. You know that'll just keep it from oh, falling yeah. off. Uh, and then the other thing is like, if it is a laceration on the face, if it goes into the eyebrow, because if you glue it, you don't get the good approximation mm. it's probably better to suture it because you don't want it to end up looking if like... it goes through your lip or it's through and through you don't want to glue it and then if it's bigger uh i think they say what, two centimeters i can't remember the actual like in length yeah if it's a really if it's a big old long sucker because you know you got a lot of tension on your scalp and on your forehead mm -hmm. and the bigger it gets the more it wants to spread open because i glued my daughter's and hers was about yay long probably. yeah you can get away with about but it was like <clears throat> right on her hairline i'm trying to think the exact anyways if it's big and long and really weird looking definitely don't suit you <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> <laughs> yeah, set myself up there you did didn't you not but yeah um yeah. glue is great for kids and it works really well yeah man but if it crosses through the hair and you want to you know, cosmetically keep the hairline like lined up and stuff like that. You probably should use sutures. Hmm. And then if it goes into the lip, you don't want to do it there. Yeah, and my daughter had huge to get, and long. You don't. My want daughter to do that. got bit on the lip. Yeah, that one was kind of rough. And so she had to get stitches right there. Yeah, but it, yeah, it doesn't look glue. too bad though. There's just those things you don't want to use at yeah. all. The glue, it's it, you got to have super glue in your in your first aid kits. Yeah. it's just so yeah. useful. If it's all you have, you'll be super glad that's all yeah. you have. Super glad to, for the super glue. Because even if it falls outside of these mm. things, like if it, if, if it is a little jagged or it's, I mean, if you have something to close it, mm -hmm. better than nothing. I agree. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much that's for listening. That's not medical advice. Don't fall out. Yeah, none of this is medical advice. Um, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed... What are you doing with your life? Just go back and hit the subscribe button on wherever you're listening to this. Make sure you're following us on YouTube and you know Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and all the places that we're hanging out. Um, if there's a phone sitting, somebody leaves it. Just subscribe, subscribe that phone on to their us. phone. Yeah. yeah, it just it makes sense. Send out a mass <laughs> text to everybody in your phone <laughs> with our latest episode. You yeah. guys, it's not that hard. No, <laughs> I do it every every week. You're already texting. Yeah, you're already texting them, somebody so. right now. Uh, Add it into any sentence. It's no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Oh, I did want to say thanks to um, Nick B. Oh, yeah, that was um, awesome. We talked, we talked the other day about um, Cam and I weren't certain on our blood types, and guess what? He sent us a couple of blood type tests. So we'll have to do something. Maybe we'll do a live stream or something and do these things. And the big watch reveal. Me cry. Yeah. Um, oh, do you have to send it in? God. Do you have to send it in, or is it it's like an instant test? No, I think test? the card tells you. That's rad. I know they do have those that'll tell you on the spot. Mm, interesting. Um, yeah, so we're going to try and uh, do that pretty soon. So thanks, Nick B. We, we, yeah, everybody's awesome. It tells awesome. you anti-A, anti-B, yellow for, yeah, so cool. you, you'll get your answer. You um, don't need to send it in we'd, anywhere. We just got to say thanks to everybody because you guys send us cool stuff. Seriously. You guys, like the messages best listener. we get are, are awesome. So thanks Nicest so much. people. And I got to say, say survived at the end so I don't freak people out. Apparently I didn't say stay survived on the last episode people were like what the hell was the simulation it, change is it over or am i still listening <laughs> what's going on it's just an empty tape yeah. <laughs> yeah just just hear the tape turn that's the close yeah yep. all right guys stay survived <laughs>